Welcome to Grace Congregational United Church of Christ, located in Rutland, Vermont. Thank you for joining us today for this third Sunday in Easter. This is indeed the Easter season, the season of new life and a breath of the Spirit. As we enter into this time of worship together, may we open our hearts to the renewal of our minds and our spirits. May we dare to let go and dance with renewed vigor as we allow resurrection hope to fill our bodies and our souls. Dare to dance with dreamers, sing their song. Dare to dance to stories, sing out strong. Dare to dance for freedom your whole life long. Dare to dance again. This Sunday acknowledges that sometimes we are unsure about our steps in the world. For the disciples, even while in their joy at seeing Jesus after the resurrection, they were still disbelieving and wondering. We are reminded that even though we may not know our next steps, we can be sure they will come because we are God's beloved children. And so we have steps to follow, those of the resurrected Jesus. Dare to dance with dreamers, sing their song. Dare to dance their stories, sing out strong. Dare to dance with freedom your whole life long. Dare to dance again. all around. We fortify our hearts with compassion and action. If rain still lingers, open the umbrellas of hope and set out anyway, for we are called to dance again.
justice seeker, lover of creation. You set this world in motion and gave it life. Turn us to you when our steps are not sure. Come and dance with us, engage with us as we seek you, so that we can be risen with Christ and in Christ. Be with us now, we pray. Amen. The peace of the risen Christ is with you and also with everyone. You are invited to turn to the people around you in your home. Place your hands on your pets, on your children, on your spouse, on your partners, and say, the peace of Christ is with you. The peace of Christ is with you and also with you. You may know that a lot of artists and writers are dreamers. They dream up stories and paint things that they imagine. Some artists dreams, dream of ways they can make the world better. This man is Langston Hughes. He was born over a hundred years ago. Langston wrote books and plays, and he worked to make life better for people who weren't always treated fairly. He wrote in a style that he dreamed up himself. It was called jazzy poetry. One of the things that he wrote about was dreams, not the kind of dreams that we have when we're asleep, but the things that we want to be true, deep down in our hearts. Here are two of his poems. Listen to what he encourages us to do with our dreams. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. The Dream Keeper. Bring me all of your dreams, you dreamers. Bring me all of your heart melodies, that I may wrap them in a blue cloud cloth, away from the two rough fingers of the world. Hold fast to dreams, Langston tells us. That means to hold tight and don't let go. This week, think about what your dream is for the world or for our community or even for yourself. Remind yourself of your dream so that you can hold tight on it for a long, long time. Our colorful umbrellas are a sign of joy and hope, even on rainy days. Today, we'll add a phrase from Mr. Hughes' poem on our prayer umbrella, Heart Melodies. Let's offer a prayer together. You repeat after me. We offer thanks, we offer we thanks. for dreamers true, for, dreamers true. For, all they are, for all they are and all they do. And all they do. Let, us become, Let us become dreamers too, dreamers too. and bring new life, and bring new life to, me and you. to me and you. Amen. While they were there talking about this, Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. They were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. When Jesus said to them, Why are you frightened? And why do doubts arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. See that it is I myself. Touch me and see, for a ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. And then he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet, while in their joy they were disbelieving. And his wondering, he said to them, have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of boiled, broiled fish, and he took it and ate in their presence. Then he said to them, these are my words that I spoke to you while I was sitting with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds and understand the scriptures. And he said to them, thus it is written that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to the all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. We are witnesses of these things. Our second reading today is 1 John chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. See what love the Holy One has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know God. 
beloved. We are God's children now. What will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this. When God is revealed, we will be like God, for we will see God as God is. And all who have this hope in God purify themselves, just as God is pure. image during this Easter season is the umbrella.
a contraction, a contraption on a pole that opens to provide covering, shade from the elements, sun, rain. Some contractions on a pole only shade. A parasol is not waterproof, but it can make a statement. It can say, see me with my colors and fringes. It could say, see me. Now a closed umbrella provides no shade from the elements. A closed umbrella can provide support for you to stand erect and to walk stately. A closed umbrella's handle is very important. How your hand can grip firmly to hold for support as you stand erect and walk stately. Both an open and closed umbrella can be used for protection from things above, sun, rain, hail, leaves, bird droppings, or things approaching, people or animals that are not keeping their six feet distance. Both an open and closed umbrella can be a symbol of beauty, a symbol of fun. It can be dapper and joy. When carrying an umbrella, my eyes are usually down watching my step. I can't easily see what is to my left or to my right. And if I'm walking next to a person with an open umbrella, we are spaced apart and our one of us raises the umbrella higher or pulls it lower to our head to allow the other space to walk beside or to pass, making space. It's the third Sunday in Easter and the gospel according to Luke portrays the disciples as terrified, afraid, thinking they have seen a ghost. In this narrative of the Easter journey, Luke spends the time dispelling the myth that the disciples experience with the risen Christ was with an angel or a spiritual being or a ghost. To help people move along in the journey to not get stuck in the details, here's another Jesus appearing show story showing the hands and the scars and Jesus eating. Ghosts and angels can't eat. The gospel narrative provides several good news stories to open their minds, open our minds, to be ready to be transformed, to be ready to receive peace be with you. The Psalter for today, like last week, I'm drawn to. Maybe it's because I'm not sleeping well. Something is happening in the atmosphere. Perhaps I am anticipating something, but whatever it is, my mind is not at rest when I lay down. I want you to listen to Psalm 4 of the Jewish songbook with their superscription of evening prayer. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You mortals, how long will you dishonor my glory? How long will you worship dumb idols and run after false gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful and will hear me when I call. Tremble then and do not sin. Speak to your heart in silence upon your bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many are saying, oh, that we might see 
better times. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Peace be with you. In the midst of our questions and pleas for answers, we are covered, covered by the love of God, for we are the children of God. God will provide for us what we need to move along even as we ask, as we demand, why did that happen? Why were we not told? Our hands will grip the handle of a closed umbrella. The closed umbrella would keep us steady, erect, especially after God shows us our eyes and our hearts have not had the right focus. The point of a closed umbrella will not give way as we place our weight on the handle. The disciples in the gospel according to Luke were scared and frightened, but faithfully gathered waiting. The writer of 1 John, an elder of the community, is trying to remind that community of who they are children of God. The Apostle John has already shown us that Jesus came to give us life, not just life, but life more abundantly. This is the gift to all, not just some. And the faithful shall be those who have thrown off prejudices, who have seen what is lacking for all to have life, and to have it more abundantly, and they would have sacrificed their time, their talents, and their financial resources for the community for the greater good. They would have offered the appointed sacrifices themselves and put their trust in God, praying with those who are waiting for better times, praying with those who are listening and looking for the signs of change and transformation, providing an open umbrella for those who need covering from despair, from loneliness, from depression, from addictions, from violence, from lack. Lift up the light of your countenance upon us, O Lord. You have put gladness in our hearts more than when the grain and the wine and the oil increased. I lie down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Joy is ours. We are the children of God. God will open our eyes to see and our hearts to love, to love past the pain of disappointment and betrayal, to love to cover the sins of the world, greed, disrespect of cultures, disrespect of people, disrespect of other faith traditions, disrespect of communities, disrespect of the diversity that God has provided for us to understand the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus is our example of how to live life free and give life away in love for others. Peace be with you. Dance in the joy of who we are and our purpose. Dance with open umbrellas or closed umbrellas, but dance, peace,
be with you. Let's dance. Shalom. The body does move in response to what's happening in the world. That's why we have the prayers of the people, the intercessory prayers, and we ask God to teach us to dance to the beat of God's heart. Teach us to move in the spirit of the spirit. Teach us to move in the light of God's presence and teach us to dance and dance to the beat of God's heart. For the beauty of the world and all this diversity, we give you thanks, O oh God. We give you thanks for the clean water that we have. We cannot take that for granted when so many are simply searching and waiting for clean water. We give you thanks, dear God, for electricity that we have, when so many do not have that. We give you thanks, dear God, for the housing and the shelters that we have, for so many do not have that. Let us pray together. May our gratitude to fill our days. We need your healing, O Holy One, for our troubled planet, for our nation, for all who are struggling in body, mind, relationships, and spirit. We remember those that are grieving today. We remember those that are recovering from surgeries. We remember those who are alone and have been alone for a long time. We remember those who are suffering. Come, O oh God, and restore our lives. Teach us to pray in the power of Easter, following Christ in a life resurrected. Teach us to act with compassion and justice. Teach us to dance with the beat of your heart. We wish well our Muslim Sisters and brothers, in the season of Ramadan, may they be blessed and be a blessing. Be with each of us now. May the dance of your spirit ever call us to engage with you, with the needs around us. Lead us, guide us, surround and fill us. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Come, Holy Spirit, come. and our energies helps us to actually step into the dance. Jesus called his disciples witnesses to the possibility of resurrection. The world is in need of continued resurrection to new life. We are called to be witnesses to this journey to newness by offering our resources and our energies to the work of justice and love through our offerings today.
Thank you, Grace Congregational United Church of Christ, for continuing to be committed to partnering with the mission that God has given this body of Christ. Thank you for giving of your time, for giving of your talents, for giving of your resources, for being the light that shines brightly in Rutland. Thank you. As we end our time to to get today, as we end our time today, we remember we have heard the risen Jesus speak peace and offer us hope through his very body. We have danced with dreamers past and present. So now we ask God to send us out, send us forth, O oh God, to live in the freedom of the peace that you will still speak to us, making our steps more sure each and every day. And may the loving God, risen Christ and dancing spirit fill you with all you need for the days ahead. And all God's people said, amen.